for the silver lining and it's it's just a natural like that's what I want to go for but I also have done the work and done the research and gotten these tools so when I do feel anxiety I do feel depressed or I do feel like I don't know that here's the things that I turn to that help me cope yeah. That give me the opportunity to, you know, pull myself out of whatever. And whether it's journaling or it's meditation or exercise or not giving a fuck for a moment. Yeah. Just, and, and I mean that in not a negative way. I mean, like, just allowing myself to have fun and letting myself off the hook for not... <laughs> You know, those are the, the different tools. And I've gotten to the point where I don't even have to think about it. My brain automatically grabs for one, you know, like, okay, like maybe I just need to write this all out and just like, let it go, you know? Yeah. Maybe I need to, to look up quotes, you know, that the whole quote thing really started from like that kind of place, like trying to empower myself, trying to find meaning and purpose and all that. It's like you come across these things that when you read them, you go, yeah, like yeah. that, that, that makes sense. Yeah. And it, in, it unhinges you for just that moment. And if you can unhinge yourself for just that moment, the more and more that you practice, the easier it is to unhinge. And the longer that unhinge lasts. Very nice. You know? Yeah. It sounds... It's like you just sometimes need a like, you know, like a kick in the right direction to go, you know, and sometimes I'll, I'll watch inspiring YouTube videos. Sometimes I'll put on music that I know makes me feel like a badass. Sometimes I'll, <laughs> no, and it's true. Like maybe I just want to feel like a fucking badass for a minute and be like, <laughs> you know, get my mm -mm 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 on. But once you do, then you're like, okay, okay. Yeah. You know, or maybe I want to read something or maybe I want to watch something funny or, or do something like that. But most of the hang up is, is that we have a hard time accepting ourselves for who we are. And, um, I would say a good 90% of depression and all of that besides nutrition, how, you know, besides all those things that I really do believe all come it's together, all, yeah. they, they all come together. It's mind, body, spirit, soul. If, if you're neglecting that, you know, um, but what was I going to say? Well, with depression and stuff like that. Oh, depression and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, a lot of it is our, our inability to be okay with ourselves and be okay with joy and pleasure and sadness and grief and all those things it's like we don't allow ourselves to feel those things and so you push them down and they yeah gotta, eventually yeah, they gotta come the up cork's sometime. gonna pop up yeah that's there was somebody that i i can't remember what author or what person but it was i it probably was wayne dyer because he's one of my biggest inspirations, which he's now in heaven, but, um, you know, he talked about like, you can only push it down so long before yeah. it's going to pop to the surface. And so it's like, well, I don't believe I cry a lot, but I do know that I'm okay with, no, I mean, you know, certain scenarios, if it's a, I don't know, I can cry and be okay with it. But there's, um, I'm sure, way more people that are just not comfortable with crying sometimes. And you weren't always. Yeah. I think more in the last 
several years. <laughs> I've grown old and no, but been able I, to I'm cry. serious. I think more in the last several years, would... you've accepted it more, and you've. I feel like you've. I think I've just been blown away by more things that I notice or I'm aware of yeah. that like how beautiful they are. Right. And well, and you, you've developed more gratitude and appreciation than angst. For, yeah, sick, right. You know, it's like you're starting to go, oh, okay. Okay, you know. So that, that's maturity. <laughs> there is a part of maturity. There's a part of healing too. And there's a part of those yeah. different things that, you know, people are so, and people aren't as aware as we are either. And so I think that that helps too with your awareness of all those signs and all those things. Like you start to see a bigger picture than the societal picture that most people see. Yeah. You know, like you see more. And I, I don't, I, I guess that's like some spiritual aspects. Um, which I appreciate and, and help me see different things that I wouldn't be able to see if I had this right. cloud over my head of being it's the veil tied up in <laughs> the angst veil. and yeah. anger or right. sadness or not moving on or not being able to do the things that you were just talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, but w w and a lot of times because we don't want to feel pain or sadness or grief because it's really hard to feel that. Right. But once you do allow yourself to feel that and you feel okay with the fact that it's okay for you to feel that way, yeah. then it's so insenely magical how that can... Because just because it happens kind of, doesn't mean it has to stay. Right. But how it can, once you acknowledge and allow yourself to really feel those things, how it just loses its power over you and it kind of just drifts away and you're like, holy cow, I've been holding on to that shit for that long and it was that, <laughs> not that it was easy, but it was that just by taking and looking and having that reflection. Yeah. Like, you know, there's been different things for me that I pretend like don't bother me, but once I can say, no, actually that person hurt me and that felt shitty. And like, I don't need... I don't necessarily need the forgiveness of others and that's something that people get really misconstrued is that like it feels like you you want to have that um yeah sometimes and it's like sometimes you just have to forgive that person without getting the apology yeah and that's a real humbling moment because you're allowing them to have energy and power over you and they don't deserve that yeah well said you know they don't deserve to have that and so you don't have to necessarily um go and tell everybody oh you know like the people that have done those things in your life you don't necessarily have to do that it's more about like hey i You're don't fine. agree with them but i forgive them for what happened and then also i forgive myself for allowing them to deter the way that I felt about myself. And you're finding acceptance and... Right, you know. right. Like, nobody actually has the power over you to, to tell you how to feel about yourself. We just take other people's opinions and judgments and... Too often. And we so pull them often. in and yeah. then next thing you know, we feel like shit because we're like, oh, well, but that's, you know, you think about people and most of the time when people are negative or mean or do those things, it's because they got shit inside them they haven't worked through. <laughs> yeah. You know? Insecurity. Or somebody's, ha yeah, insecurity, yeah. somebody's having a bad day and you go to the store and this pers other person that's the clerk is having a bad day and they go to check you out and they're a bitch and like, I'm not saying it's right. Yeah. But I'm just saying, most of the time, it has nothing. That's what's We're going so self-absorbed that we think everything has something to do with us. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, it has nothing. If you have good intentions, good heart, you know, all that. If you're outright being an asshole and a dick, well, yeah, then you get what you get and you deserve it. Yeah. But most of the time, people are 
only acting and reacting based off of what they learned growing up, based on their environment currently, based on things they haven't healed and their own insecurities. That's, that's how people roll. You know, it's like people are all, people are all just trying to do the best they can. The only thing that makes things different is, is that, and I say this all the time, but two people can go through the same situation and one person can play the victim and the other person can learn and grow from it. Same exact situation. It's perception. It's how you want to see it. It's what you want to deal with. You know, it still doesn't mean those moments aren't shitty. It still doesn't. But do you want to say, let's play the blame game for me? I'm going to feel terrible about myself. Yeah. Or, or do you want to say, you know what? I don't have to deal with this. Like, you don't have to stick around certain people or you don't have to allow what they do or say to waver the way that you feel about yourself. Yeah, that's very hard to remember. It is. All the time. Oh, and and I can preach all day Changes about... so fast, the, like hours of the day, yeah. minutes of the hour. And and like I like I'm saying, like I can preach all day about this. I have the knowledge, I have the tools. That does not mean that like I wake up every day and go, <laughs> Oh yeah. Eh. No. And that even after this conversation, that doesn't mean that I won't have moments where something triggers me and I feel fucking awful about it. But in the process of that, the more and more that I keep doing what I'm doing the less and less it has power over me. The, the time frame of me feeling upset about something is shorter because I still want to deal with my feelings, but I don't have to let them run me, you know? And we'll end it on that. Yeah, because otherwise I could go all day. But it's it's a truth, you know? It's It's... Just one of those where you gotta it's really good information that you always have that i like to hear so i'm glad yeah never let me know if i start rambling out because like once i get <laughs> once i get turned on to that <laughs> kind of stuff i literally like there's just so much that pulls through my head and for me too and you're a great listener and you have great ideas so with that, I'm able to excel. So I think what you do is uh, really important to all of us, my family and all of our friends. And Thank you. I've never been able to have a better conversation with anybody than, <laughs> than you. <laughs> you know? Thank you, honey. Yeah. I appreciate that. You know, just doing the best I can. Doing the best I can. Yeah, right? <laughs>